time for English. Grade 6, Unit 10. At school, Mr. Mahmoud Amin. Unit 10, page 61. At school, conversation time. A. Listen and repeat. Point to the speakers, then listen again. Number 1. Where were you yesterday afternoon? At Annie's house. We were watching TV. Number two. What was on? A program about animals in Africa. Number three. Aw, uh, I missed it. Was it good? Yeah, it was. The gorillas were really cool. Number four. Did you watch the soccer game last night? No, my mom was watching the news. Besides, I don't like watching soccer on TV. Number five. Me neither. It's not as fun as watching a real game. Hey, there's a good movie on tonight. Do you want to come over? Number six. I can't. My mom won't let me watch TV on a school night. Too bad. Oh, there's the bell. Time for class. Page 62. Word time. A. Listen and repeat. Number one. Skip lunch. Number two. Forget my homework. Number three. Go to bed late. Number four. Fall off my chair. Number five. Get a good grade. Number six. Lose my favorite pencil. Number seven. Make a mistake. Number eight. Take off my jacket. Number nine. Win a prize. Number ten. Turn off the fan. Unit 10, page 63. Focus time. A. Listen and repeat. Number 1. Hungry. Number 2. Nervous. Number 3. Tired. Number 4. Embarrassed. Number 5. Happy. Number six. Sad. Number seven. Disappointed. Number eight. Cold. Number nine. Hot. Number ten. Proud. Unit ten, page sixty-five. Reading time. A. Listen and read along. The History of TV. This website is for TV fans. Do you like TV? How much do you know about the history of TV? Read this and find out. 1939, the first televisions go on sale. 1941, public broadcasting begins in the United States. It is in black and white. 1947, Four million people in the United States watched the World Series baseball game on TV. 1953, 50% of American homes have a TV. 1954, color broadcasting begins in the United States. 1956, the first televisions with remote control go on sale. 1969, 720 million people watch Neil Armstrong walk on the moon. 1994, 99% of American homes have a TV. Now we are going to talk about the structure. Our structure today is about if, the first conditional. The first conditional consists of present symbol and the future. After if, we use present symbol. And the next part of the sentence is future. For example, if I forget my homework, I'll be nervous. 
If he gets a good mark, he'll be happy. If he falls off chair, he will be embarrassed. If she skips lunch, she will be hungry.